Hey guys, my name is Stefan. And I'm Amy. And we are the Cabin of Courage. Hey, what's up guys? So this is the Warpton Trail and um, this is like the, if you see that fish and chip shop thing over there, there's a, um, the, from the, from here or from that, that other side of the road all the way up to like, was it Lilydale? Yeah. It goes all the way to Lilydale and it's all like gravel, like it's fine gravel, you'll see, but um, from this side onwards it goes through all the like nice little Warpton areas and it just goes all the way that way, there's a there's a pizza little pizza truck thingy that stops here every now and then. It's a um, wood fire pizza. It's about twenty three dollars or so per pizza. They um they look pretty good, but uh it's not always you here. Have to try it. Yeah, you have to mm -hmm. check it check out his times. It's probably like pizza truck Warburton, something like that. But um yeah yeah. So this part of the trail is all hard this kind of road, and um yeah the rest is all fine gravel. Goes and you'll 40Ks. see yeah forty k's from like Warburton, Warburton town. All the way, all the way to Lilydale, yeah. And uh, we're just going to explore it on this today. I don't know why I'm moving the camera, because obviously it's a 360 camera. But uh, yeah, we're bringing, bringing some drinks and sandwiches. And yeah. So there's a lot of little, nice little paths along this, um, along the main track. And it's like a little bit extra fun if you, if you feel game. Ready for it now? We just got pulled over by police. It was pretty awkward. Um, they were on the other side of the road. So we just like kept riding and they had their like lights on. I'm like, oh man, I can't run from police now. There's absolutely nowhere to stop cars. Like it was all just, just straight paths next to the road. So we're like, crap, 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 crap. Then I like was going to cross the road and I like looked at them and was like, should I cross? And he was like, yes. So I crossed and went onto the other side. There's a couple of trees in front. They sped in front a little bit and then parked and like walked out into the path. I'm like, damn it, damn it. I have to stop. So uh, obviously I don't I don't know this area too well either, but um, so we stopped and they checked in their thing. They were really nice, which was good. And they checked in their thing and they're like, oh yeah, there's not a lot of information about them. But um, yeah, yeah. So they let us off, even with no helmets. They made a bit of a thing about that. They're like, you definitely should have helmets. And we're like, oh, I'm sorry. And the whole speech about TAC. Yeah, and the whole yeah speech about TAC being you know paying for everything. He's like, ask car owners. I'm like, I own a car too. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, to the path. We uh, cross the road. There's like a little uh, what, what is it down there? The, no, nah, the uh, bar. Plate. Is it a bar? Yeah, hotel. Yeah, it's like a hotel bar thingamajiggy down there, which is quite nice. And uh, the launching place. So this is the launching first place. 12Ks. Yeah. First of all, 12Ks is pretty much road, and now the rest, which is what 28Ks, Something will like be that. just past. Yeah, and it's 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 nice. Yeah, there's a when she says road, she means like riding nearish yeah. to the road. But still like a nice amount of grass, like you could park a couple of cars before it gets to the road, I mean to the path, from the road, you know what I mean? But anyway, look at this beautifulness, it is, it is like this the whole way, and if it's not following a river covered in trees, it's, um, you know, paddocks and vast mountain ranges, as you can tell. There's, there's pretty much no point where you can't see mountains, is there? I don't think so, yeah, so um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Definitely, uh, definitely check it out. We'll show you a bit more on the way. So, welcome to our uh, our first vlog in um, in Warburton, actually. Take Been away, living eh? here for the past two weeks. Well, two and a bit weeks. Is it? About that, yeah. And we're gonna head off since we get axles back from the caravan. Yeah, we're getting a subframe and axles and suspension and rims and tires. All into Australia instead of America. Yeah, yeah, because it's the stock for our caravans, just like everything's American and it's apparently terrible as well. So, yeah, we also want to get the weight to 3.5 tons, like the limit, because we were significantly over. Like it was supposed to be, well, was it supposed to be 2.8, I think? Was yeah, 2.8. Yeah, it was supposed to be 2.8. Then we got our caravan weighed and it was like 3.3, so quite a bit over its maximum. So, yeah, we got the, uh, the weight limits increased and that's why we're in Warburton and, and yeah. See you on the road soon though, real soon. Like, this week? Hopefully tomorrow. But, Who knows? you know, we're gonna wait for the dude to do his thing. Because we want him to be rock solid. Yeah, this is Warburton, and uh, I hope you like, hope you like what you see.
check it out. So we just we're riding along that path over there, as you can see. And this is some guy's like personal bridge. Driveway bridge. Yeah, his driveway just goes to his house. It's his own bridge. I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely make this a drawbridge. Definitely. Check out this tree. Beautiful. Let's have a look around it. So this tree behind me, every season it's changing, so um, you gotta go past on the path. Definitely check it out, because it's always looking a little bit different. A beautiful tree. Really stands out. Check it. This place is magical as beautiful. It's the kind of water that really makes you want to uh, walk. Fall into absolute nothingness. Oh, yes. This is a, this is a pretty good magical place. Woo. Look at Nay with a. What is this? I did actually. Very fresh. You want to do it? No, <laughs> There's been times before when we've been here, and um, you can actually sit in the middle there, where those rocks are. But the water has just come up haze. It's raining loads more lately. I think I had like massive downpour the other day. It was good. It cleaned my car really well. But. Yeah, we've swam around here before. It's like right in the corner at the moment, it's like too warm. We didn't get in last time to ramble before we there. Yeah, yeah. Well, not also, this grass grown. has grown loads, and loads. And also, there used to be like, I'm pretty sure, we used to be able to go in this place, see how those rocks from the water. Yeah, you could walk straight down. Yeah, you could walk straight down. The water can't Yeah. Right. We could walk through that rock, I'm pretty sure. We could walk through that rock, I'm pretty sure. We could walk through that rock, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know if I've got that. But, but there is a really cool little uh, crossing kind of kind of thing here. I'll uh, here it is. Check it out. Check out that. How cool is it? Huge crossing. Good place to have lunch. There's some farmer's stairs or something from back in the day, or. Not sure. There's Naomi. That's a pretty, pretty bridge. Now, um, I think we just saw a bird getting attacked by a Snake, oh, it just is messed up a little bit. You can see something in the bushes there. I can't see where its head is though. No, no one knows. This is me saying, don't go through those bushes over there because it could be snakes. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> so different bushes, but yeah, there's like a bird that's all limping around. Where are you, buddy? A hey, bird. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's right there. I don't know how he's doing. I mean, the snake's not moving. But he's looking pretty... Haunted? Yeah, not great. He's really hiding though. I could be alright. I'm gonna poke that snake. Stop. Is it moving? I don't Oh, that's what I want. It's either a lizard or a snake. Yeah, I thought it would be a lizard. It's very fat. If that's a snake, that'd be pretty decent. Where is it? <laughs> oh yeah, right. Isn't that his eyes? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's his head. Yeah, so it's a lizard. It's a lizard. I think. God, I can't tell. I wish I had a longer stick. Yeah, I think it's a lizard. Do you reckon the lizard bit it? I don't know, but it's not moving. Oh, it's got feet. Okay, it's a lizard. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, it's a lizard. Oh, that's a fat lizard. Oh, I feel so much more okay. So there's no snake. Look how fat this dude is. I won't hit you, don't worry. 
Maybe you bit the bird. I reckon. Oh, blue tongue. The blue tongue. Yo, buddy. Are you making friends with the bird? I'm guessing not. Look at that little fella. So this is a Brazil Garage Cafe. Check it out. Pretty cool. Highly recommend. Highly recommend, yeah. Especially after this whole, all this COVID stuff, because um, you can't go inside at the moment. But yeah, pretty cool. Look at it. It's still on the track. Look at the camera. Look at that thing. And it's a massive cafe thinking inside. I wish we could show you. But that would totally be crash passing. But, um, yeah, like every carriage has like a table and chairs, and you can open your little window. And you get, there's even some that have like a, a door, and you can close the door, so you're like in your little private space. It's pretty nice. The muffins are like $4. Four dollars. For dollar for ice cream. Yeah, unless you want ice cream, then dollar for ice cream. And uh, what do you reckon, like the coffees well, and stuff? Do you remember? They were $4.50. $4.50? Yeah, bad. and milk was extra if you want to like soy, almond. Special milks? Cents and the time. nachos were 11 was it 14 14 and the nachos look really good they're, they're pretty decent size like from we this, kind from of this handlebar to like <laughs> there and then like that high with like nachos it looks like it has guacamole and uh, salsa yeah salsa it looks good it looks good and um yeah so check it out because it's pretty cool we're um, gonna see what the sign means because yeah. it's a Seville water park and i remember so someone telling us about it so we're like well might as well check it out yeah because there's like a water park thingy that just got in warburton so we're like all about those water parks. Yeah, I wanna wanna check it out for sure. When you get out of the we'll sun. show you it there if I can get there with not too much roads. So this is the carriage cafe. These are the nachos that I was talking about. Mmm, oh, yummy. They were how much were they? Fourteen. Fourteen dollars. <laughs> this is the inside of the carriage cafe, and the actual carriage bit. This is kind of hard to see, but there's. Oh, you know what? There we go. And every single one of those is like a little carriage. You can close the door, it's quite nice. Oh, there's fountains. But, um, it's got the bucket at the other place, that's also... It's got a bucket. The other place has a bucket and it's... A slide. And a slide. And uh, the it's rest is pretty much the fountains as well. And it's got the two big slides, but... um. But it's also like up on a yeah. hill it's and still, like... It's still a lot small. Like, they're, they're still very small. Although they're free, which is amazing, especially for summer. So this is the Seville one. It's pretty nice. I'll, uh, I'll walk out. And it's got very nice grass. Tell you that. That's the water park back there. But look at this massive thing. Look at it. Impressive as. There's also a little uh, spider crawl climby thingy. A tractor. Go on there. Alright, you ready? You spin my heart right round, baby, right round. You're gonna get on? Hmm. It's gonna be a tricky one. Oh, I got this. We're going to go on the other side here. Yeah. Oh. Nailed it. This is the uh, the big peninsula tunnel, I think it's called, or something like that. It's, a, it's along the Warburton um, Yarra, Yarra Trail, or whatever it is. So check it out, this is a big tunnel. Big peninsula tunnel. And look at this, see the height where the water's hitting that? That will show how um, crazy high the water is today, I guess. And uh, we've been here before when this is completely underwater. I had to piggyback Nay across with um, with bare feet. I'll show you this this bit now. Oh, hey, Nay. Oh, yeah, and we've got the good news about the caravan. It's all finished, but the wheels, oh, <laughs> the wheels and rims that he said fit don't, so we have to buy new wheels and try to figure out that sort of thing but um either but it's way finished. it's finished and it's getting it's getting tires. close it just has no tires so it's completely unusable but soon soon we'll be back on the road keen as yeah two days uh it should be should be i'm gonna find out about the tires and such i want to get some good good wheels for it because uh i just really like those wheels damn it would look cool and also we'll have, been good because they're good wheels we'll have a week in castlemaine yeah then a week in our castlemaine which is pretty good i like it so this is the uh, the steps, the concrete steps, and check out the height they're at today. Crazy height. The water is literally ducking over that one. Really. This is the other side of the peninsula big tunnel. You can't really see it as much, that's why the other side is definitely but prettier. Let's 
tell you a tip. Yeah. In summer, people get lionos when you lay out here. Mmm, yeah. I think you could, you could probably actually ride through it. I'll see I if I can... Know. Oh, God. You might. That's as far as I can go. And then that! But as you can probably see, with that rock down there, it gets very deep. So it's pretty damn deep here, which is pretty nice, because you can definitely use it for swimming and... Just chilling out. Nice and relaxing chillness. I think we're going to go to the small tunnel now. So we'll uh, show you what that is. The small tunnel, I, don't, I personally don't think it's as amazing, but it definitely is a lot longer. This is the little tunnel. You have a choice between either the viewing, right or the, the left. Area. Yeah, these are the two choices. Which one do you choose? Left first, and then we left? Right. Or is that actually right? Well, it could be. <laughs> Depends which way you're facing. Yeah, we'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely a lot longer than the other one. See that? So this is the uh, the down output of the little tunnel. I'll, um, it's not a very good view for it. I'll see if I can get down. It's down and close. things to do around Warburton. There's also the uh, Redwood Forest and um, there's a few other things. I'll try and include it in uh, Naomi's blog. It'll have everything, everything that you can do, that you can think of. And uh, hopefully this is a good summary of, you know, what, what we can get to at the moment. Redwood Forest at the moment is closed for COVID reasons, I believe. But uh, yeah, it'll probably open up again soon, I reckon, because everything seems to be Relaxing. God damn it. Look at the size of that thing. Okay. Now I'm gonna get up it. Two hands. Yeah. This is the uh, rainforest gallery. Oh, it's totally closed. Probably COVID reasons. Let's have a little read of that sign. Shall we? Well, it's currently closed due to damage and recent storms. Okay. Yeah, it probably is like a tree or something. <laughs> Yeah, everything's falling apart. But there's this nice little, uh, look at anything in the jiggy. Look off the edge, just gets higher and higher. Can you take a picture? We can run. In a second, I'll just do this. Look how green and lush everything is. So lush. So we're 40 meters up, was it? Yeah, I think it says there, doesn't it? 15 meters above the ground. 15, that's so much nice. not what I thought. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Whoa! Oh. Pretty damn cool. That's the path. Yeah, so you can kind of see it. It goes like along there, down, along. You can go up and do like a round strip all the way around and then come back whichever direction you want. This way, I'll show you a map. Hey, a map. Yeah, it's a sort of map. It's a good photo of the map. Where's that? Just at the front. Oh man. I'll show you the map. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty... Oh yeah, and uh, does this move? It does, doesn't it? It's moving. A little bit. You can kind of see it oh, against the tree. Oh, the trees. <laughs> ah, dripped on you. <laughs> I'll show you the map. And then we're going to go to the top of Mount Donabawang. And I will uh, show you the view from there. It's pretty spectacular. Unless it's foggy, which it might be. And in that case, it's pretty damn terrible because it's just fog. But you'll see. A little foggy, and you might not see anything from the top of the mountain, but this is uh, this out there.
here before with Nay and it was snowing last time we were here I think so this is a few walks and hikes and such it's pretty steep down there last time it was all snowy so it was all slipping and sliding all over the place I'm gonna commit even though it's totally pointless and um, oh my god and go up this thing oh there it is just for the uh, just so you can see what's up there upstairs high collapse. Look at that view. Yeah, pretty much um completely invisible at the moment obviously. But it's usually a usually a quite nice view. Tree over there. That's it. We have brought my laser light. So cool. But anyway, yeah, it snows here. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Come check it out. It is usually a pretty nice view. Not outstanding or anything, but it's nice. It's nice. But, uh, see the bottom. Before you leave, uh, go to Warburton. And if you're up to Mount Donaboyang, you definitely gotta check out this thing. It's like a free mineral water in a way. It comes down from the mountain and it's absolutely fine to drink. Damn delicious. It's uh, not, not too minerally, minerally lately because it's been raining a bit. So it tastes just like normal water. But if, you, uh, if it doesn't rain a bunch, you can really taste the minerals. You can a little bit, but yeah. Hope you enjoy. Gotten back from the um the Warburton Lilydale Trail and it was getting really low on battery so we uh, freighted them out to the good old scooter and mixed year cycle and uh, yeah we, we took out the Yarra Trail and did fishing. It's pretty nice, there's actually a, it's really nice to go along here. We've got these, uh, what's it called, um, like donut things, like these uh, uh, water donut, rapid, rapid donuts, whatever they're called. You can go down here, that's uh, pretty cool. You can go from the caravan path all the way down to like that swimming area where it's got like a bunch of rocks on the left hand side just after the rapid if you know what I mean. It's like the main area right in Warburton. That's a you terrible break. small one, get a nibble. Get no, the put one. it behind your back and I'll guess. No, but you still get the nibble. No, no, no nibble. Just put it behind your back. Oh, look at that cheetah. You freaking cheetah. What? <laughs> oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, my God, it's screwed. Jesus, ridiculous. There's a bridge up there, it's a suspension bridge. I'll show you it. Show you it. Check it out. New suspension bridge. There's two of these actually. There's two, there's two suspension bridges, yeah? Yeah, but the other one's wide. The other one's wide. It's very similar. The other one's a bit wider as well. I think the other one's newer than this one. This one's not as wide. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those little burnouts. <laughs> Pretty cool. Check that thing out. This is a great place to swim. Um, what road is that? The Main Street. Main Street? Do you know what the name of the road is? Nay. Mount Danabuang Road is like just there. And that's just like the road that goes so over like it. Warburton Highway? Warburton Highway? It probably, Maybe. that sounds, that sounds legit. Anyway, this is a, uh, you can swim here. I think you can probably see over there the, uh, the height <laughs> of the water. So it's not, it's about half a meter, which is not terrible. But, um, yeah, the further out you go, the deeper it gets. It's pretty nice here for swimming. And you can also get on here and uh, wrap it all the way down. Well, it's like, it's like Lazy River mixed with rapids, some of it, and then like a few little rapids. It's maybe like four rapids. But there's, a, there's a, quite a bit of this little, little like, disturbed water, not quite rapid. Yeah, you can get on here or you can get on a bit further up in the actual campsite. After that, it gets pretty sticky and like, you know, sticks across the road and all that sort of biz. 
but yeah, that's a, that's a good water rapid entrance. Bang. This is the Warburton Water Park place. And it's got that massive bucket, and it eventually tips on everything. It's cool. Drink is gonna tip. <laughs> the anticipation's killing me. Go, go, go. Oh no, not again. <laughs> you get so much speed. You get so much speed. Oh, poor Naomi-kins. We made it. This is the Aqueduct Trail. Ocean Addy. Oceanassi? Oceanassi Aqueduct Trail. Beautiful. Whoa. Oh yeah, we came from down there. That's how far I pushed that sexy ass. Ooh. Yeah, there's a car park just over there. Oh, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll show you the little map thing. That's a good idea. Maybe you don't hold that over your bag. Oh, that's no, all good. See, Naomi's an alcoholic. Hey. It's been 10 seconds. Look at it, hiccuping and saying that. But <laughs> me, alcoholics, you know. It was actually a burp. Alcohol, alcoholics that aren't anonymous. Naomi Jane Mason. I fell down there. Yeah. She actually, um, I got a, I got an electric funny. bike. It's pretty much the same as here. Yeah, it's like that little, that little divot, or the actual uh, aqueduct. Um, yeah, I got like this new bike, put it all together for my parents, and the first day we rode it, she was drunk, I was drunk, my brother was on the, the electric motorbike, and uh, yeah, she fell like down there. Lucky I didn't have this. Yeah, bent up the front wheel a little bit, didn't brake properly, but it all, you know, straightened spokes and went back. Yeah, it was lucky we went down that. Oh. Yeah, that. She like wasn't even hurt. <laughs> Mad skill. I just jumped out of the hole. Yeah. This, this whole aqueduct is pretty much like this. It's just super, super green with like little, uh, little water crossings every now and then. You can't really see it, but you sure can hear it. So you know what? Ah, you totally can see it. I'll do this. Now he's gonna be like, what are you doing? This is so steep how slippery this is. I want to do this. Commit. Whoa. My god, that looks fun. Damn, that looks so fun. It's like a little slimy tunnel. This comes from rushing around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And it comes out the other side of the nose. Oh, you can't even see it. Ooh, that's no longer fun. That would have sucked. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Oh, you can just see it on the side. Maybe. So this is kind of like the end of the path-ish. And it um, tells you where the distances are. And yeah, it kind of just gets to this, this bit right here. And then you go up here to the car. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little notification button in the corner. And uh, don't forget guys, this is my very first video, so editing and shooting can only get better from here. See you in the next one. So if you're looking for some uh, proposal places, this is pretty good, right? Oh, Damn beautiful. Very stormy feeling, nice and warm, but very stormy. I'm gonna get back to my car and uh, head home.
us out. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the Warburton video, and um, yeah, check it out. It's it's a pretty dope area. There's a lot to do and a lot to see.